Hey, Care2. Welcome to this week's Rant and Rave. Heather uh, is out of the office, so I'm on my own, and I hope you bear with me. Um, there's a lot, lot going on this week, obviously. The beginning of the transition into a new administration, uh, ongoing turmoil in the economy. Um, so, to get right to it, uh, starting out with uh, the, uh, the rave for the week, um, it looks like after a, a series of mis, uh, false steps, um, uh, trying to stem the, the bleeding in the economy, sounds like there's finally some progress being made. Uh, you know, there was, it, the bad news is, is that we found out uh, just recently, it's been in the, in the press, that the Fed has loaned $2 trillion to banks and whoever else, but they're refusing to say who they lent them that money to and, and what they required in the form of collateral. Uh, which is pretty scary because that's a just a, a vast amount of money, um, you know, so much more than the seven hundred billion dollars that they'd are they've been authorized to to use in the bailout, um, and apparently this was just using other authority that they already had, um, but it's you know that doesn't bode well. However, the good news is they've you know they've concluded they're they're not going to spend the seven hundred billion dollars to buy assets that all the banks currently think are worthless um, under the premise that someday they won't be worthless. Um, so I I'm, I'm, think most people are pretty glad of that. That seems like um, a pretty big risk for the for the federal government to take on uh, for, you know, uh, not no certainty whatsoever that uh, they would ever get the money back. Um, but more importantly, and what's, what I'm raving about is it seems as if... Um, they're starting to, people are starting to focus on getting to the root of the problem, which I, you know, I'd heard all along, and, you know, the media has reported, you know, for over a year that the, the, the big problem in harming the economy right now is all these foreclosures. So uh, Fannie Mae has, has, a, has announced a program to, to stop foreclosures, to try and refinance and renegotiate re a bunch of the uh, mortgages uh, in which people, you know, owe more than the value than, than their house is currently worth um, and can't make their payments. Um, and in addition, several banks uh, have stepped up and, and are doing the same thing. Uh, Bank of America, which bought Countrywide, um, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Citigroup have all, have all initiated programs to basically put a freeze on, uh, on, on foreclosures um, and try and renegotiate these foreclosures and what have you. Uh, now, the, the head of the FDIC said that Fannie Mae's proposal uh, is probably not, uh, not good enough, uh, but it's a good start. Um, so, you know, uh, you know I, I, it seems like if the problem is foreclosures, stopping foreclosures is a good start, solving the problem. Uh, and, and not only that, it, it's giving relief to, peop to individual Americans, uh, families, working people, rather than giving relief to uh, folks on Wall Street, which, frankly, I, you know, I'm just not that sympathetic to. So that's my rave. I, I think hopefully this is progress. And if nothing else, hopefully um, you know, a, a lot more people, uh, several million people, will be able to stay in their homes uh, as a result of this movement, which would be huge. Um, so now for my rave. I just want to, or sorry, my rant. I just want to rant a little bit about the amazing degree of spinelessness that the Democratic leadership in the Senate are showing. Joseph Lieberman campaigned against the against Obama and against his party, through his party and and his party's candidate under the bus and ran around campaigning with McCain, saying Obama wasn't ready. He was soft on terror, you know, everything he could could say to and, and do to harm Obama's chance of being elected. And regardless of how you feel about Obama, um, just talking specifically about the response of the Senate Democrats to this kind of just in-your-face blatant uh, betrayal, they are actually considering letting uh, Lieberman retain chairmanship of the Homeland Security Committee and his other chairmanships. Uh, even though he has basically, um, you know, spit in their eye, and they're they're doing this under the hope of, you know, because, the, you know, to to just to keep him in their caucus, um, keep enough votes to hopefully they hope be able to to get some big stuff passed, uh, but mathematically, 
it's silly because he's not going to vote against them on most of what they care about. And you've also got women, uh, senators like Olympia Snow and Susan Collins of Maine, um, Arlen Specter of uh, Pennsylvania. You know, there, there are plenty of moderate senators or enough moderate senators to, uh, to end a filibuster um, and give the, the Democrats the power they need. Despite that fact, and they have so, apparently so little confidence in their ability to bring two or three people across the aisle, they are showing every sign of basically telling Lieberman, yeah, it's okay for you, for you to spit in our eye. We're going to forgive and forget. Um, and, just, I, and I'm ranting about this just from a purely kind of political standpoint. It's not, you know, because I'm pro-Democrat or pro-Republican or anything else. It's that this is such an amazing display of, of political weakness and whereas their party has never been, hasn't for decades been in such a position of political strength. And, you know, it, it doesn't augur well for them uh, and how they're going to wield uh, this or take advantage of this opportunity they have in this next Congress. Um, nor does it set a very good precedent uh, if they have other senators that decide to get squirrely and go their own way and, and campaign against them. If, they're, if the worst they can do is to say, well, you, sh- you, know, should, you shouldn't have done that, but we're going to let you be chairman of a committee that we control. Um, it's just, it's, it's pretty astonishing to me. Um, it's going to be an interesting uh, Congress if this is uh, the, the, de- the Senate leadership on the Democrat side. I think the, uh, the Republicans can maybe breathe easy, uh, but who knows. Anyway, that's, that's all I got, and uh, we'll see you next week.